How's it guys and welcome back to another modding guide. This time it's for Witcher 3 and how to play it in first person and as an optional extra how to combine magic spells mod with the first person mod so you can play through the entire game as a full-on mage. As always links will be in the description below for everything that you will need and we are going to go nice and slow for those new to modding and I will explain everything and why I do it so that you have a better understanding in case you run into any issues that you might be able to fix yourself. With that said, let's get started. So the mods you will need is the first person mod. We will also need the community patch and the magic spells mod and script merger. So let's just go ahead and download all three of these for the first person mod. If you just go into files, we will download this one, the GFP full 4.04 in the community patch, the files, here you will have the classic as well as the next gen version. So depending on what you have, but I mean most people should have the next gen version, right? So we're just going to download the next gen version. We'll also do download script merger. So it's just the stock one over here. And we'll just download this. And for magic spells, we're going to save this section for a little bit later. And for those that just want the first person mod and how to do that, we'll do that now. And then after that, how to combine it with magic spells. Okay, what you will also need is your clean install of The Witcher 3. Especially if you're new. And we're going to go to the install directory of The Witcher 3. So all I do on Steam is I right click on this. Go to manage over here. And click on browse local files. The window should pop up here and this is the root directory for Witcher 3, right? So over here you will see it as uh, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, The Witcher 3. To start with this, we need to install the Shared Imports mod, right? Which is this community patch. And in the description, it just says unpack the zip into the game directory. So if we do that, here is the shared imports mod. We'll just go into the mod and it just says click and drag it into the Witcher 3 in install directory. But an error comes like it doesn't work for me. So we need to put this in the mods folder. So because you will have a clean install of the Witcher 3, you won't have a mods folder. So all we're going to do is just create one. So we just right click, go to new, Create a folder and we'll call it mods. That's it. And just refresh. You'll see then there's a DLC folder that's very important that you will have, and as well as a mods folder. So we are just going to place where is that that mods import folder and we're just going to put it within mods. That should solve your problem if shared imports outside of the mods folder uh, does not work for you. But now we've installed the shared imports. Let's go ahead and install the first person mod. So if we click into the first person zip, you will see a whole lot of options here. And most of them are optional, but we'll get to the options when we get there. So the first thing we're going to install is this one here. This is the main mod. So it's this camera one right on top. So we go into it, you'll see there's burn, DLC and mods. So we're just gonna copy these three first. So we can just go right click and copy or you can click and drag over and we'll right click and we'll paste over here and have it copy over. Nothing should get rewritten. Input settings, we're going to open this. So let's just organize a little bit better because there's another uh, window we should open. So here's the other window. Okay, I've just opened up another window here because we're going to go into documents. And we'll go down to the Witcher 3 folder that should have been created when you installed the Witcher 3. We'll go into that and we'll see there's an input settings here as well. You see, it's the same file. So if we open up the input.settings.txt, all we're going to do is we're going to right click and select all. And we're going to copy this and we're going to open up this input.settings text file within your documents folder. Over here so this is from the mod itself and we're just going to hit enter right on top here so you see here's the the cursor or the blinking cursor thing forget what you call it and we're gonna drop that down by hitting enter go up again one and we're just going to paste 
all of that in here. After that's done, we'll click save and we can close this and it will automatically organize itself once you start the game. Now we also have this XML file, right? So, but before we open that, we need to kind of do the same thing in the game root folder. So where that is, will be bin config r4 game user config matrix pc and you should see it here input.xml i don't know why edge has all of a sudden uh taken charge of my xml files oh, microsoft anyway so we're gonna open this up you can use notepad but i prefer notepad plus plus so you can either open up with notepad plus plus or normal notepad now we're going to open up the input file from the mod. So open it up in Notepad, which is fine. It'll uh, differentiate it for you guys. And what we're going to do, we're going to copy this. Forget about this over here. We're just going to copy from where it says GFP begin and GFP end. We're going to copy that, right click, copy that. And we're going to put it in between visible vars and visible vars over here on this section. So anywhere here, uh, you can put it in, right? So we're just gonna go all the way down to the bottom. That's where visible vars end. You'll see when it's a forward slash like this, that just means that's the end of this section. So we're gonna place it somewhere here at the bottom. So we'll just click there and we'll click paste. So there, there it is. And we're going to click, once that's done, I'm going to click save it and we're going to close this one and we're just going to keep this open for a little bit we just minimize it now in the mod description the next thing we need to do is we have to copy these three lines of code gfp xml gfp combat and jump roll so we're just going to right click and copy that and we're going to place it in this file over here as well as the dx12 file right so that's in the same folder that we got the input.xml which are these two text files over here so let's just open up both we can use a notepad for this it's fine you'll see there right at the bottom all we're going to do is hit enter and then paste just like that and we'll hit save and we'll close this is dx11 and we're gonna go to DX12 and do the same thing. At this moment, we've effectively installed the mod, right? So let's just go back one within that mod folder. We're also going to need to install the eye patch. What this does for the next gen version is that when you get close to a uh, roach, Geralt's horse, he disappears because you know the way the camera works that uh, anything close to the camera kind of disappears so you can see Geralt in the third person view but in first person the camera is right up on Geralt's face so the horse disappears so we need to fix that with this patch over here so we'll go into the patch and it's just an exe so we need to place this if we go to bin so we're gonna go back to the root folder of uh, the install and we'll go to bin we are going to go to 64 or 64DX12. So let's go to 64DX12 and we're just going to place the patch in there and we're going to run it. So we just double click, success, successfully patched. So at this moment, you can just delete this. And if we go to 64, I think this is the DX11 version. I'm not too sure, but we're going to do it here as well. So we'll drop it in here. Run it. Okay. After that, we're just going to close it. You see, it created a backup of the EXE over here. And we'll go back out to the install directory. Now the mod is fully installed, but there are options still right over here. There is a lot of options for you to choose from. So you don't have to install any of these, but it is recommended by the modder to install combat, strafe, and no spin. So these are all options. You can read about all of these in the description of the mod. 
we just go down, all the way down here to uh, the GFP modules. It explains each one of them. So have a read through and see which ones you want and which ones you don't. Like for me, this one's very nice. This mouse scroll wheel, so you can walk, so you have different walking speeds, as well as don't push me. So NPCs can't make you step away in first person, you know, when you knock into them. So let's install the first three, the combat, strafe, no spin. So you can actually see how to do it. So it's very simple. Just go into combat. You will see there's bin and mods. We're just going to copy these. And in the Witcher 3 install folder, we're just going to paste. Copies over. You can see here, here's an input settings. So remember, this one is from the section over here that your my documents, Witcher 3 folder. So we're just going to open input settings. We're going to copy these. Copy. Open input settings in your documents folder here and we're just going to drop it on top like the last time just like that i always like to leave some a little bit of space between what you've just copied on and what the file is and we're just going to save this and can close both there's also the xml so if you look in the xml you see it's again in between the visible vars right yeah the combat begin combat end so this is what we need so we're gonna copy that Let's go back into bin, config, R4 game, user config matrix, PC, and look for input over here. Let's open it up. And all we're going to do is here's that section where we just added. We're just going to put it below that and still above visible vars. Okay. So we go one down again and we're going to hit. I like to leave a space just so that you know your different sections you don't have to but it's just uh, as for you especially if you're new to modding so we got it there we'll click save and we'll minimize this also because i think there's one other thing that also uses this uh, file and that's it we've just installed the combat ce uh, option and we'll go to strafe the strafe also has it just has the mods this time so we'll go copy go back into the install directory and we'll click paste we go to input settings it also has this so we'll just copy it you don't even have to look to see if it's the same as the last one just do what it says and we'll go to input settings over here and we'll paste it in and we'll click save there's the XML one. So this one is the strafe begin. So we'll copy this. And let's just go back to that input.xml over here. Oopsie. And we'll put it below the combat section, like so. And we'll click save then there's the no spin no spin is just a mod so all we need to do is go back to the game install folder and we're just going to copy this over here and that's it so you can go through all of them like this what I'll also add is the don't push me. So it's just a mod. So we're just going to copy that over into the install directory. And once you're happy with your choices, then you can just start the game. So let's just do that. Check if everything is working. So we'll go to the Witcher and we'll hit play. Of course, when you hit play, you will get the launcher for the Witcher and the CD Projekt Red's launcher. You can choose between uh, DX12 or DX11. But because we've done our groundwork, we don't have to go back and fix things for DX11. We've done that already, so you have, so you can freely choose between the two. So we go to play. So after you try and run the game, you might get this issue where we need to merge some files, right? 
So we'll just exit the application. So we'll go to our script merger mod that we've also downloaded. So if we go to script merger, you will see over here, all it is is a couple of files and folders, right? So you can copy this, extract this anywhere on your computer. So we're just going to put it in this folder over here, but put it where, wherever you want. And we'll just call it W3 Script Merger. You can name it whatever you want. doesn't matter. Go into that and we'll just extract it into that folder. We are going to double click on Script Merger EXE. And it's going to ask you for your Witcher 3 directory right here on top. So we'll click on that. And we'll go to, I think mine is in games, Steam library, common and Witcher 3 somewhere. The Witcher 3 and we'll click OK. And it'll start to detect and we'll see, oh yes, yeah, some uh, conflicts, right? So all we're going to do is you can either click on each one like that, or you just click right on top and say, you want to merge all of them right so six selected for merging and we'll click create mergers and you'll see that it'll come up like this so it'll say five and five like that with zero conflicts we'll click okay yeah it says create a new merge file we'll say yes we'll just say continue and then it comes up with four and four we'll click okay create a new merge file we'll say continue 19 and 19 and we'll click OK. Asking again, we say continue. So just as the things are popping up and they're just giving you an OK, then just say OK and just say continue. Almost there. can also obviously not show this report after each merge, but I like to. And there we go. All of them have been merged. All right, so they all move from there to there. And that's it. Now that everything is merged, we can actually start the game again and try once more. So we'll click play and we'll play in DX12. And there you go, we're in the game and everything seems to be running. So we'll just load up any of our uh, saves. And once you load up the save, you will see you in first person all of a sudden, right? So isn't that fantastic? So the issue that I said when it came to ray tracing, you'll see Geralt doesn't have a head with his shadows, with his shadow over there. So everything works as intended, as well as your shadow. The thing is that the mod replaces your head with your camera. So there is no head to actually um, create the shadow via ray tracing. So to fix that, if we just go into options, we, you're just going to have to uh, disable your ray tracing. So I think it's in uh, videos and graphics. Yeah, ray tracing shadow. So you can keep ray tracing on and then just don't use the shadow, uh, the ray tracing shadows. We go back. And there we got the rested uh, shadows and you'll have your head. And everything else still has the ray tracing except for shadows. So that's how you can uh, sort that out. And you can also obviously play in DirectX 11 mode where there is no ray tracing. And of course, the cool thing about this mod. If we go into options and mods. You will see this over here. So here you can change the different settings of the mod itself right so you can actually disable uh the mod for a little bit and you can still play in your uh third person view or where's mods of here camera we'll just enable it again you can rotate with the vehicle or not uh your uh, gamepad sensitivity there's a whole lot of options over here you know swim above water on or not head rotation for the horse on or not 
field of view, which is, I think, one of the most important over here. This is where you can change it. Your looking down limit. So we put it to zero. Let's just see what that does. Oh, we can see all the way into your neck. You see what I mean? So, go to options, mods. I forget what this was. Was it 65? Something like that. And auto switch to a third person view in combat off so you can even you know modify this mod the way you want to so you can still ride in third person or not death also in third person or not as well as combat enable third person if you uh, don't like first person combat and it's always a breath of fresh air when a mod can do this for you and not just give you the mod itself Okay, and that's it for the Witcher 3 first person mod. Of course, go through all of these and decide what you want and what you don't want. And Bob's your uncle. Next is magic spells. So if you want to play as a mage in Witcher 3 and in first person, then we're going to install magic spells, right? So if you go to files, this is for next gen users. So we're going to use that one. So it's both of these files and the optional file that you might want is this one quest rewards for next gen. So this is if you want to replay the game from from the start and you want to actually receive your uh, magic spells as the game goes on through quests and so on, then we, we're going to install this one. So let's just download this one for now. And for those that use the Vladimir UI mod, you'll need to install this patch we aren't going to do that because we got a clean install of the witcher 3 but now that we got all our files let's just go to the zips so these are the files we just downloaded so we're just going to move these let's just move into the witcher 3 mods folder i'm actually going to create a spells folder in here just to keep it cleaner so here we go right so we're going to copy these somewhere in the Witch 3 install folder. Also keep in mind this mod is incompatible with New Game++ Plus Plus, as the modder says so please read everything here so you can actually take advantage of this mod in the best possible way. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the magic spells zip. So we're just gonna copy these three files in the Witch 3 install folder just somewhere in an empty spot to not copy it like this because all you're doing it is copying it into this manual folder we want it in this Witcher 3 folder itself so we're just going to click and drag like this and have it copy it over next thing we're going to do is open up this text file this input uh, file does this look familiar as with the first person mod so we're just going to copy this all the way down to over here and we're gonna click copy and we're going to open up our documents folder the witcher 3 folder so in my documents on your computer you will find a witcher 3 folder we'll go into that and we'll open up the input.settings file you'll see it it'll look kind of similar and we'll just go to the top of the year we'll hit enter just to give it some space here on top and we'll paste all of this into here right on top after you've done that, I'd like to hit enter again just to give it a little bit of space between base all attacks and what you've just copied like this and we'll hit save. It will organize itself uh, once you start the game. So we'll just close this and ignore this additional input. This, if you're installing it for the first time, you don't need to worry about that. The next is the next gen patch. We'll open up the zip and it's just bin and mods uh, folder so we'll just click and drag that also over into the install folder it'll ask you to replace certain files we'll say yes just like that and we can close this zip. for the quest rewards we'll open this up it's just a mods folder so we'll just click and drag that over after that's done we've installed the mod but there's a few more steps. The first one is we'll go into script merger 
and we'll open it up. It will check and we'll see, oh, we need uh, to merge some scripts and we'll select them all from up here. Okay, there, like that. So that everything is ticked and we'll go create merger. It'll say, do you want to override? We'll say yes. So we'll just say, okay, every time something comes up, it'll ask this, you'll say yes. Just always say, okay, or yes. Let the script merger do what it needs to do. Okay. Okay, it should be the last one. Coming up with six of six over there, you see? And there we go. Everything is clean on the side and it's all merged. The final thing that we need to do is we'll go into the Witcher 3 install folder and we'll go to bin, config, r4 game, user config matrix, PC, and you'll see these two files, DX12 file list and DX11 file list. We'll open up DX11 right at the bottom. You might not have this because this is the uh, first person mod, but if you followed from the start of this video up till now, then you should have it. And all we're going to do is copy this and we'll just hit enter and make a new line and we'll click and paste it in over here. We'll do the same thing as DX12 file. We'll make a new line and hit paste add that in and hit save and that's it so we can start the game now okay we're back in game and with magic spells you won't have anything in your inventory about magic spells right since uh you haven't added or bought any of the spell books or, or tombs or, any, or anything like that so if you start a new game Throughout the game and through your quests, you will be able to uh, get them and buy them in certain uh, sections. In the mod description, he explains where you can buy some of the um, some of the books. But for now, I'm just going to add all the books. So at the moment, there's none over here and there's none over there. So I'm just going to go and type in Ashen Mage. If we just open up uh, the console and we're just going to hit enter it should all appear then see there are the books now and over here so if i just i'll just put one uh, this is the book so we'll just put it over there and this one we'll put oh over here sorry by this pocket so if you want a further explanation on this um, magic spells, I've got a couple of videos. Just go to my channel and uh, maybe I'll put it in the description also uh, of how it works and what you need to do. But just keep in mind that all of this still works with your normal signs, right? So these are my normal signs. They still all work. But if you tap E, which is the default for this mod. You see there? I got other signs now. And the reason why it's ice things, because I put in an ice one over here. And it works in conjunction with whatever that over there is. So if I hold in E, you see, if I do that. There you go. I done something with my sword. Let's see, what did I do with my sword? Oh, I just made it, uh, I just flamed it up. Okay. And that all depends also on what you got over here. So Quinn or something like that. Right. See there? I can become like a a flying monster. <laughs> and Yarden. A Yarden brings up that. That's like a thing that people get uh, kind of like sucked into. And so if we go again also to options, mods, Magic spells. Here is your damage multipliers and stuff. I don't think you have to mess around with this. But if you want to, you can. So you can increase the spell power of the different effects. Here's the camera, which you don't have to worry about so much. And 
the bow of Ardit. So you can go through that and actually change different things. But now you can play in first person as well as with all your uh, spell powers. And you still have your original one. If you want to change the default uh, E button to whatever, then you have to go, then just go to the mod description and it should explain where you do that. Well, that's it for this guide. Hopefully you've learned something and it's not as difficult as what it is. And if you want to see more videos like this and other mods, then hit that subscribe button and give this video a like. Anyways, thanks for watching. Cheers. Happy modding.